Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we have all of the eliminated teams. We're gonna rank the futures of these eliminated teams. See if they have a bright future, something to be happy and proud to be a part of, or they have a bleak future, meaning that they have no hope of doing anything and they need to rebuild completely and anything in between. So for more content like this, make sure to like this video and let's hop right into this thing. And I look at the Philadelphia 76ers to start us off. Um, the 76ers, I'm gonna put you guys you know, I don't know. I'm put you guys at a. You have Tyrese Maxey. I'm put you at per, in the per, at a purgatory future. This might be stupid, um, but I just I see Tyrese Maxey and he is a baller for sure. But then I see Joel Embiid and he's so injury prone that is ridiculous. And Joel and Tyrese Maxey is not going to take you to the NBA championship. Joel Embiid has to be that guy, but he's a very injury prone player. He is injured every single postseason. I don't see the plot there. Washington Wizards, their future is bleak. It's terrible. They should scrap everything. Jordan Poole ain't the guy. Kyle Kuzma. I don't. I can't name any other player on that team. Their future is completely bleak. They need to completely reconstruct all of that or reconstruct all of that. Um, Atlanta Hawks. I say the future is bad. Trey Young, he may get traded, he may not get traded, but they should have drafted. They drafted Luka Doncic and then traded him away. I know that people are like, well, no, he sh he wanted to get traded or this or that. Whatever y'all say to me, I'm gonna just tell y'all this. It ain't good enough. Trey Young, they had that one run to the conference finals, and it ain't been none ever since that. So I'm gonna put you guys at bad. Um, there's not a lot of future there. Milwaukee, their future isn't. It's not good. It's not a good future. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put you mid. I'm gonna say I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna put that at mid. Your future is mid. That's what I'm gonna do to make it more because there's not they're not in purgatory. They have Giannis, but they have such a mid future. Like all their guys are old. They're win now, and, sh and that's good. But I just don't see them winning anymore. Like Lillard, you know I don't know Lillard didn't do nothing. Giannis has been injured the last two postseasons. If you just haven't realized that, and I mean. You know, Chris Milton getting older too. Like this, it's 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 gone. I think the window is starting to close. The Toronto Raptors. I don't know who's. They have Scotty Barnes, but after Scotty Barnes, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they have a lot of picks or whatever. But this draft isn't that good anyway. So I don't I don't see anything that's really gonna, you know, push it forward. I might put you at mid since Scotty Barnes is an All Star. But after that, I don't see a lot going your way. The Memphis Grizzlies have a good future if John Morant doesn't go to jail. I mean, John Morant is a really good basketball player. He got injured this year. He got suspended, then injured. But he's a really good basketball player. But, you know, they have to, you know, they'll be a threat next year in the West, but they just have to have better leadership. Like, their leadership is terrible. So they just have to have better leadership. But I think they have a good future. The Spurs, they have a very bright future. They have Victor Webanyama, who has main character level energy. So, you know, the first couple of years, he's not going to win a lot of games, but, you know, they're going to give him good rope, you know, support, you know, as the Spurs. So I assume they're going to do that. They can give him the people and the pieces needed to be successful. And when they do that, he's going to be boxing with all these really good teams in the West. So, you know, good for them. Utah Jazz, I'm going to say bad. I don't know anybody. They got Laurie Markkinen and that's it. I don't know. And that's not good enough to do anything. So their future is bad. The Clippers future is straight bleak. They have a bleak future. They have no future. Like, Kawhi Leonard injured all the time. Paul George probably not going to stay. James Harden got no plot. Russell Westbrook got no plot. It's bleak. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a terrible future. You don't want to. And then they got this new stadium they got to go to. Like, bro, it's rough. It's all rough. Phoenix Suns, you too, bro. Your future bleak. It is a win now type of thing. But I just, I could tell that they're never going to win. It's just obvious. You could see it on their faces that this team will never win. And then not only that, but then now you add in the fact you have no first round picks for many years. Like, it's cooked. It's pretty cooked. Um, Portland, they have Scoot Henderson, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say mid. I, I, Scoot had a historically bad season for a rookie, but I think I think he'll figure it out, and I think he'll be a good player for them. So I'm gonna say mid for right now. It could change, but for right now, we'll go there. Sacramento Kings, I'm gonna put you guys. I say good. De'Aaron Fox is a really good player. Um, Sabonis is a really good player. You know, and then Keegan Murray, he's also he played really in that first playing game. He played his ass off. So you know, they're they're it's, they're a good team. It's just you know, the West is really hard, but, you know, Fox, he took that step forward. So bonus took the step forward. Maybe if Keegan Murray can also take a step forward, they could be something to reckon with. And the Pelicans, I'm going to put you out there as well. Zion Williamson, he got injured at the worst time. But, I mean, they have a decent young core for sure. It's just can they stay healthy and be on the court? We'll have to see, but I'm going to put you out at good. I'm putting the Hornets at bad. 
I might put I, I'm tempted to put bleak but Brandon Miller is pretty good for y'all LaMelo Ball is also a good player but you know I, I remember in the 2020 draft people were like LaMelo he won rookie of the year it was like man maybe the the Timberwolves should draft the LaMelo but we looking now and it's just like ah you know what I'm saying ah um but I'm put y'all boys at bad uh buck up Houston Rockets, I'm putting y'all at good. I think Shangoon definitely could take that next step and really be an all-star. Um, and they have a lot of really good pieces. Amen Thompson's a really good defensive player. Jabari Smith maybe takes a step forward. Tari Eason, um, Jalen Green in the month of March. Some pretty good pieces. It's just they have to, they, they're starting to get an identity, but they have to really lock in, right? And Jalen Green has to be consistent. You know, me as a Rocket fan, I'd love Jalen Green to take that. Anthony Edwards leap. I don't know if he will, but that'd be freaking dope. That'd be freaking dope. Miami Heat have a bad future. And man, Pat Riley is roasting all his players. He cooking them. Tyler Hero cooking them. Jimmy Butler cooking them. He cook anybody. He, I mean, he going at them. Yo, he he fed up with Jimmy. But I don't know what's going on. But their future isn't that good. Like, Jimmy Butler, Lee G. Boyce from 8th seed. He had one hell of a run. Two, one in the bubble. But I think it's it's wraps. I think we're done here. And they they don't have anything else. Like, I think it's 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 wraps. Chicago Bulls have a bleak future. They have nobody like DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine. Like, blow it up, restart. You know, you need to like stop bringing this team back. They're not gonna win anything. The Brooklyn Nets, I'd say bad. I mean, they they put a lot into Mikael Bridges. They thought he'd be that man. He's a good player, but he's not he's not gonna lead you to no playoffs. Well, he did his first year, but he's not gonna do that consistently. I don't think so. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put y'all at bad. Y'all, y'all definitely need a buck up. Lando Magic. I'm gonna put y'all at bright, man. Like Paulo, hell of a number one overall pick. He's been balling, and they have a good amount of capital. They have, you know, you know, Franz Wagner had a terrible game seven, historically bad. I mean, it's 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 he's he's young. Like we're not gonna come and roast him because he's young. Like it's it's fine, right? So you know, they have a lot to build off of. You know, being the five seed and taking the experienced Cleveland team to seven is something to put pat your back you know put a you know pat yourself on the back on so that's really good that's dope for them the detroit pistons i'm gonna say bad for now um kate cunningham maybe takes a step forward maybe one of those boys they take a leap uh kate was supposed to be that like luca type of player honestly and you know maybe his injuries maybe i don't know but i haven't seen it but just for the fact that he's on the roster i'm gonna put y'all at bad and not bleak the lakers i'm put y'all man shh, i'm put y'all at shh, i'm gonna put y'all at bleak i don't know and the reason why I'm saying that because there's no young player like LeBron 40, Anthony Davis. So Anthony Davis is the guy, but he's not going to he's not consistent enough to be the guy to lead you to a championship. So and then you have all these pieces around them. And then it's these pieces are good, but they're not good. There's no good young piece that exists on the Lakers and there's no capital that can have that happen. All the players on the Lakers are very old. So like the main players, at least. And if they're not old, then they're not the guy right so i don't know like i don't i don't you might have to just keep running this team back until because there's there's no other future there's no future for that and i don't i know they're not gonna win next year they're not gonna fake they're not gonna beat the timberwolves they're not gonna beat the nuggets right so it's like what are we even talking about i'm gonna say golden state i'm gonna put y'all at bad like you know clay thompson wash draymond green is does a, likes to beat people up and steph curry he'll have a player but i mean you know his plot gotta fall off somehow so I'm going to put y'all at bad, you know, and, that, and that's where I'm put y'all. I think that makes sense. So these are all the eliminated teams, and this is where I put them. I put the Spurs and Magic, very bright future. Uh, good Memphis, Sacramento, New Orleans, Houston, I think. You know, if one of these guys take the next step, or in Memphis's case, they get some good leadership. They'll be good to go mid. They may have a star player on the roster, but it doesn't look like – it looks like it's, it's their era is starting to end, or in the Raptors in Portland's case – it's more like they have young players who are pretty good, but they definitely need some more and need more. You know, I need more information on that. And bad, they may have a star player, but it's it's just like it's, they're not going to win no more. Or they have a young player that's hasn't proven too much yet, and we'll see how that goes. And bleak, I mean, I mean the last four teams they just old, and they have no picks to help them. And the Wizards, I mean, they just they're the worst. You don't want to be a Wizards fan. I, I bet that's a rough existence. So this is my list, and these are the the eight teams below. You know they're still in the postseason, so they're not on here. But I may do another one after 
uh, the end of this round. So for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Um, the NBA season, the NBA playoffs is so lit. I'm watching, loving all these games. And uh, hey, tell me who you guys think are going to win the NBA championship this year. I think Boston versus Minnesota might be the finals. You know, we'll see because the Minnesota are looking lit. But hey, <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.